A celebrity-backed bail reform group has shut down its Las Vegas chapter after being sued for helping release a career criminal. Rashawn Gaston Anderson was released after the bail project paid his $3,000 bail. Just six days later, police say he opened fire in a Las Vegas restaurant, shooting a waiter 11 times. See, they had no business doing that. This video is brought to you by Prison Fellowship Angel Tree. Prison Fellowship Angel Tree. First of all, I want to say thank you to every single person who donated in this campaign. We were able to help over 5,000 kids in this campaign. What a tremendous blessing. Because I'm doing a video about a person who should be in jail, I want to tell you just a little bit about the fact that the people who are are, are are in this program, in prison fellowship program, are people who have done crimes, who are in prison, but they're going down the right path. Prison Fellowship is a Christian organization. They help these people be rehabilitated through using the gospel. So you're, you're, you're helping out families of people who are trying to do the right thing, which is opposite of what I'm making this video about. This guy should be in prison for life. However, the kids that you were able to help were their children who they don't have contact with in ways in which they want to because they're still incarcerated. But we've been able to help 5,000 families, which is absolutely amazing. One last thing I want to say before the end of the year, I know some of y'all need some tax write-offs. This is an opportunity for you to get a tax write-off and help families moving forward. Anybody that gives over $1,000 in this particular campaign, you will enter into an opportunity to win uh, a trip here to Arizona. We'll put you up in a hotel. I'll take you to a steakhouse, and we'll kick it. You know, you can sit on the show, watch the show for an hour, whatever you want to do. We'll take care of you. For anybody that donated 1000 because that's what our family donated. And so if you donate $1,000 or more, you'll be entered to win. We'll get your name down. We'll find you. We'll pick the person um, based on a raffle system. And then we'll get you out here to Arizona. So if you're interested, link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like this video, comment this video, share this video. Let's get in this. Ladies and gentlemen, these people should be ashamed of themselves. My whole mission here in premise is never go woke woke, right? People out here going stupid woke. Let me get, let me put it up on the, on the screen so you can see. It, it ain't no reason for them to be this woke. This man and and my wife said this on the phone with me before I made this video. Some people need to stay in prison. Some people have not learned their lessons. Some people are not working with prison fellowship, getting rehabilitated. Some people are out here just living a life of crime with no intentions to do the right thing. And then we can pray for them. Hopefully he works with prison fellowship at some point once he gets incarcerated. This man then shot somebody 11 times after being bailed out by the bail project. It's just it's social justice wokeness is crazy. Danny Glover is on the board. John Legend is on the board. Richard Branson is sitting on the advisory board. And they're going to be held accountable. If you look at the, the little stuff here, it's kind of small, but I'll read it to you. This guy ends up getting out of – he ended up getting sentenced, right? He got sentenced between 7 to 18 years in prison after reaching a plea deal, which means that if he would have lost his case, he probably would have done like 60 years in prison. He got 7 to 18 years on a plea deal. He was convicted for attempted robbery and mayhem, both with deadly weapon enhancements, meaning that attempted robbery with the deadly weapon – and mayhem while in possession of a deadly weapon. Now, his criminal record doesn't just stop there. This dude has a, has a lengthy criminal record stint involving robbery and all kind of other stuff. Let me find his criminal record on here because this is what they sued him for. It says the bail group uh, failed to consider, this is what the, the Wong family, which is the man who was shot, this is what the family is suing him over. It says Anderson's criminal history before they bonded him out, including pending and past cases of burglary of a business, carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, two counts of grand larceny, and attempted grand larceny. And then now he's going to be in charge with attempted murder for shooting a man 11 times. It, it's, it's, it's just crazy to me that they're doing this. It's because they're so woke and, and, and it's the same thing that happens with these criminals that ended up getting into altercations with police officers. It's like, bro, he's a thug. Bro, he pulled a gun on a police officer. Why do y'all? Why is? Why does he have a mural? He been selling drugs his whole life. He been destroying the community since he was uh, 18 years old. And y'all got a mural up worshiping him. What are y'all thinking? Same thing happened with this idiot. 
He's out here committing all these crimes. They bail him out on a three on a three thousand dollar bond, which I don't even know how you would get three thousand dollars when you potentially facing eighteen years in prison. And he gets out and shoots somebody eleven times. He could have killed this man. He could have killed that man. And I hope that they held accountable because the woke stuff need to stop. Stop being woke. You're not helping anybody. Sometimes people need to go to prison because there they can be rehabilitated. And I'm not saying every time you will be, but if you want it, you can be. My cousin went to prison, got sentenced to 70 years. I talk to him. I write him. He seems to have learned his lesson. He's a changed man. I'm trying to get him involved in prison fellowship. But some people need to go to prison so they can realize what they had out here. They can realize the, the, the error of their ways. And they can find God in prison. They can start reading, get an education outside of the world of chaos and confusion. And, and we're not helping these people by just doing stuff for social justice purposes. They should have looked at that boy record and they should have said, look, man, you need to go to prison for a little bit. And, and, and help him when, he, when he's coming out. Help him get in the prison fellowship program. And when he's on his way out, you can help him with giving him a job and opportunity if he changes ways. You don't bond a man out in the middle of his criminal crime spree. I hope the family get like $400 million from these people. Because let me tell you this. They deserve to get more money. Now, he don't have any money. But I would argue that they should sue the people that got money. They should get more money than, than, than Alex Jones has to pay. Alex Jones, because of his actions, nobody got killed because of Alex Jones' actions. I think it was ignorant. Maybe people had a little heartache because people were thinking that the Sandy Hook thing wasn't real. But this man shot somebody. Set, the dude was hit seven times. He had to go through trauma. He will never be the same. I want them to sue them for billions of dollars like they did Alex Jones. Anyway. I'll keep y'all, y'all keep it to you. I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you support Angel Tree. I'll see y'all. I'm out.